Today we're going to make a healthy cook recipe of sautéed artichokes, shiitake mushrooms, and chickpeas. So let's get started with the shiitakes. Shiitake stems are really tough and woody, so you, you don't want to include them in your recipe. So I'm going to just pop all of those off. They pop off pretty easily. Okay, once you have the stems off, um, they're pretty clean, these mushrooms, and you certainly don't want to wash them. If you wash them, they'll get all soggy, and once they're soggy, they're not going to saute nicely. If there is a little bit of dirt on the caps, you can just take some paper towel or a clean kitchen towel and give them a bit of a wipe. Okay, so we just want some nice thick slices. They're going to give a nice meaty texture to, to our saute. For this recipe, we also need three cloves of garlic. The easiest way to get these bothersome, bothersome little uh, pieces of paper off your garlic is to give them a bit of a push with the side of the knife and then they just pop away. And if you put your hand flat on the side of the knife, don't worry, you're not going to cut yourself. Famous last words. Once you've got all the peels off, all I want you to do is just chop that up roughly. It doesn't have to be finely minced. Um, you know, it's going to go nicely with all the other ingredients. The other thing that we need are a couple of uh, scallions sliced up. Just nice to slice them on the, the bias or on the diagonal. It gives them a, a really pretty look. Sautés are, are really quick and you won't, while you're sautéing, have any time to be doing other prep. So it's a very good idea to just get all this done um, and be ready when you start sautéing. You need a bit of parsley. I leave the stems on because that gives me something to hang on to while I chop and helps me hold the parsley together. And then when I get down to the end, there's something to hang on to that I don't need to cut. And we finish just going over the parsley a couple of times. So lastly, we need a bit of lemon juice. Uh, just a little bit less than half a lemon, I'd say, because you're looking for one tablespoon, and each lemon gives you uh, plus minus three tablespoons. So we're using frozen artichokes. Um, they're a lot easier to deal with, but they do come with a lot of liquid, which we don't need in our saute. So we're just draining them through a strainer and getting them nice and dry. And then we want to blot them on a couple of paper towels. You don't have to do the blotting, but um, the drier the artichokes are, the, uh, the quicker they're gonna saute. So we're also going to drain the chickpeas or garbanzo beans. These are no salt added. You can also give them a rinse, but unlike other beans, they come out pretty clean and, and drain off pretty well, so it's not entirely necessary. So now we've got all of our ingredients and we can start cooking. Start with one tablespoon of oil into a hot pan. We're gonna get that nice and hot so that when the artichokes go into the pan, they start frying right away. All right, it's starting to shimmer and separate. And that way you know that it's actually hot. We are ready to saute. Pop the artichokes in. Spread them out so that they can cook nicely. Once they're spread out, you really don't need to move them around because you're trying to get the browning. Um, it's not like stir frying where you're continually moving the ingredients. You want them to sit a while and get really nicely browned. Okay, so they're browned on the one side and, and we can flip them over and get some browning on, on the other side as well. They're nicely browned, we're gonna pop them out of the pan. I just have a, a, a sheet tray here and it makes it easier to just dump them out. Large metal bowl will also work. Another tablespoon of olive oil, pop into the pan. We're gonna go straight for the mushrooms. Spread them out so that they can saute nicely. Mushrooms are deliciously browned. And we're gonna pop those out with the artichoke. Another tablespoon of oil. Now we really have to move because it's smoking. Give them a shake, let them pop. 
off a little bit and get a little bit golden. They're kind of fun. They're like popcorn. Boing! And last tablespoon of olive oil. And pop in the garlic. Stir that around quickly. Don't want the garlic to burn, it'll get bitter. You want to get your other ingredients right back in. And that'll help your garlic not to burn. Everything's nice and warm. And let's add our seasoning. The lemon juice. The scallions. And the parsley. Finally, up to a half a teaspoon of salt. Give that a final stir. And it's ready to plate. And that is ready to take to the table. I hope you enjoy these bright flavors. Happy cooking and healthy eating.